What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances, separation of powers. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances, separation of powers. We studied a very similar question for the 2020 citizenship test. There are three branches of government. Why? Checks and balances, separation of powers, so that one part does not become too powerful. First, let's understand the words in the question. After that, we will look at the answers. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Too powerful. What is powerful? Powerful is very strong. Oceans are powerful. Volcanoes are powerful. Viruses are powerful. Community is powerful. Love is powerful. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Ideas are powerful. Too powerful. What is too powerful? What is too? We use too, T-O-O, when we agree. I like this class. Me too. Me too. We use too, T-O-O, for something bad. <sighs> too cold. <sighs> too much traffic. Whew. Too hot. We use too when there is more than we want. There is so much food. She is happy about this. Ah! There is too much food. She is not happy about this. Being powerful is good. Education is powerful. Voting is powerful. But something too powerful is dangerous. Some drugs are too powerful. Some guns are too powerful. When something is too powerful, almost nothing can stop it. There are many examples of leaders, military governments, and dictators who became too powerful. Dictators often begin by taking control of the Congress and courts. When this happens, there is no separation of powers. There are no checks and balances. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Separation of powers. What stops one branch of government? How many branches of government are there? There are three branches of government. Legislative, executive, judicial. The Constitution gives different powers to different branches. Each branch can do different things. The legislative branch writes laws. The executive branch signs or vetoes laws. The judicial branch reviews laws. All of these powers come from the Constitution. The Constitution gives different powers to each branch. This is the separation of powers. Each branch has separate powers.
powers. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. So what does checks and balances mean? Check has a lot of meanings. This check means stop. The president can stop Congress by vetoing a bill. The Supreme Court can stop Congress or the president if the law goes against the Constitution. Because each branch has separate powers, one branch can stop another branch. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. And if the Supreme Court stops a law from Congress, senators and representatives can make a new law. This is what we mean by balance. The Constitution gives each branch equal power. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. To learn about a real example of checks and balances, you can review my video, Court Stops Changes to USCIS Immigration Fees. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers, checks and balances.